Have you ever wondered why gold is so important in our lives? This precious metal is much more than just a symbol of wealth and power. It's a crucial component in many areas of our daily lives, from the electronics that power our world, to the medical technologies that save lives, and even to the spacecraft that explore the cosmos, gold is there. But where does all this gold come from? And how does it become the shiny object we all know and love? The journey of gold starts deep within the Earth's crust. If you've ever wondered where gold comes from, the answer lies beneath our feet. Gold mining is a complex and labor-intensive process that begins with the identification of gold deposits. These are typically found in regions with a high concentration of quartz and iron soil, often hidden deep within the Earth's crust. Upon locating a promising deposit, the next step is extraction. Miners drill into the earth, blasting through layers of rock to reach the precious ore. This is an enormous task requiring heavy machinery and a team of dedicated professionals, all working in unison to bring the gold to the surface. Once the gold ore is extracted, it's transported to a processing plant. Here, the ore is crushed and ground into a fine powder, then mixed with water to create a slurry. This slurry is then treated with chemicals to separate the gold particles from the surrounding rock and soil. But gold mining is not without its challenges. It's a high risk operation, fraught with dangers from potential cave-ins to the hazardous chemicals used in processing. And then there's the environmental impact. Mining can lead to deforestation, soil erosion and contamination of local water supplies. Once the ore is dug out of the earth, the gold within is still far from being the pure element we value so much. This is merely the beginning of gold's journey, a journey that continues with the refining process, where the precious metal is purified and transformed into the gold we know and treasure. Extracting gold from the ore is a complex process involving a series of chemical reactions. Let's delve into this mesmerizing process, shall we? It all starts with crushing the ore into small pieces. This is a crucial step as it increases the surface area of the gold, making it easier for the chemical reactions to take place. Now, on to the next step, separating gold from the other elements. This can be done in a couple of ways. One method is through heat. In this process, called smelting, the ore is heated to extreme temperatures, causing the gold to melt and separate from the rest. Alternatively, chemicals can be used. In a method known as leaching, a solution is applied to the ore that dissolves the gold, allowing it to be separated from the remaining material. The gold is then recovered from this solution, but we're not finished yet. The gold at this stage isn't pure. It's mixed with other metals and impurities. To get that shiny, valuable metal we all love, the gold needs to be purified. This is done through a process called refining, where the gold is melted and treated with chemicals to remove these impurities. The result is pure gold, a metal with a level of purity that's required for various uses, from jewellery to electronics. And that's how gold goes from being a rock in the earth to the shiny, valuable metal we all know. So, what have we learned today about gold? Well, gold, this precious metal, plays a significant role in our lives. Its extraction, a process known as mining, is both laborious and complex, and that's just the beginning. The gold must then undergo an intricate procedure known as refining to achieve the lustrous finish we all know and admire. So the next time you see a gold object, remember the incredible journey it's been on to get to you.